Hi, so in this session we will discuss about the pattern recognition receptor and we will take up in more detail about the tau like receptor. In previous session we have discussed uh, the origin of pattern recognition receptor concept okay? and that was uh, quite interesting and uh, after the discovery of pattern recognition receptor the view of immunologist is completely changed okay it's previously we thought that it's a non specific thing and it's uh, not so important but now we know it is very important okay there is a some broad sensors and these broad sensors eventually sense the microbial pathogen and they play a pivotal role in development of uh, adaptive immunity okay so in this session i will talk about uh, tlr so, what is TLR? TLR is basically the toll like receptor. The toll word is came from if you if you remember my previous session, you 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 can understand that toll protein was discovered in the Drosophila and protein similar to the toll Drosophila toll in human and in mammals was discovered and we call it as a toll like receptors. Okay. So, this tone like receptors are basically recognizing all kinds of uh, microbial pathogen that includes uh, bacteria, fungi, viruses and the most interesting thing is that they recognize these uh, entities on cell surface as well as it also recognizes inside the uh, uh, vesicles inside which is present inside the cells okay we, we we call it as an endosome and uh, uh, it depends on the stage of this endosome we can call it as a phagosome phagolysosome so and so okay and upon recognition they activate of course the cascade of signaling and eventually it result to the production of uh, pro inflammatory cytokines okay and in addition to pro inflammatory cytokine they also induce a antiviral uh, factor or uh, it's an antiviral cytokine you can you can say that and this we call it as a broadly we call it as a type 1 interferon besides this recent in recent past it was uh, also reported that there is a type 3 interferons which is also playing very important role in uh, in antiviral immunity okay so this is about the toll like uh, receptors uh, which is quite brief and i will talk extensively about uh, toll like receptor in subsequent slide but before going to that i just want to introduce there are some more pattern recognition receptor or there is more families of pattern recognition receptor this is much more appropriate to say that families of uh, pattern recognition receptor Another very important uh, uh, family of pattern recognition receptor is rigai like receptor. Here you can see this rigai like receptor is derived from uh, rig i. Uh, this is a this is a retinoic acid induced gene. Okay, and this this the, there is a family. There is a family of molecule which is induced by retin retinoic acid. Okay, these sensors are very important against uh, RNA viruses because they sense the RNA molecule and therefore they play a, a, a crucial role in, in, uh, in sensing uh, uh, RNA from RNA viruses. In addition, they may also play an important role in sensing DNA virus as you can see, you see that uh, when DNA virus replicates then there is a some RNA intermediate and that RNA can be sensed and then that will induce the response and the responses are again this induces a, a pro-inflammatory cytokine and type 1 and type 3 interferons and they are playing very important role in antiviral immunity okay this this rigai like receptors okay another member is uh, the nod like receptor okay and this is also an intracellular uh, sensor. Uh, Rigai is like a uh, Rigai. Rigai is also intracellular 
uh, sensor okay not like receptors are also intracellular uh, sensors and they sense the signature from bacteria in the cytoplasm okay and then that will basically induce uh, pro inflammatory cytokines and they play a very important role in production of one very potent uh, uh, family of cytokine which we call it as a IL-1 family cytokine and this is basically mediated by uh, some multi-protein complex are formed in, 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 uh, in the cell upon, uh, upon uh, uh, sensing of uh, some microbial uh, uh, PAMP, okay, PAMP is basically a pathogen associated molecular pattern, okay. Uh, so, upon sensing these, uh, uh, these, uh, these sensors basically induce either inflammatory cytokine and or they will make a some multi-protein complex and then it will uh, play important role in uh, production of IL-1 family cytokine, okay. There are some more sensors uh, which plays a very important role in DNA sensing. Here I have not uh, shown that uh, uh, those sensors. I will talk in more detail about the DNA sensors in, in subsequent sessions, okay. So, DNA sensors are also there which senses the DNA molecule from, uh, uh, from pathogen and then it induces the appropriate uh, uh, immune response, okay. So, let us uh, let us move on uh, uh, to, to take a look how these uh, sensors are located, okay. So, here you can see as I have explained you in previous slide, this TLR4, TLR2 which is making a heterodimer with uh, uh, 6 and TLR1 also make a heterodimer with uh, 2. Uh, they are located on the cell membrane and TLR11 and uh, TLR5 is also located over the cell membrane and they sense uh, their respective PAMPs, okay. I will, I will discuss uh, uh, about the PAMPs and their expression in subsequent slide, okay. And here you can see that TLR7, 9 and 3 and 8, they are expressing in endosome, here I did not show it. Uh, so, here you can see that these, uh, these sensors basically sense the PAMs in endosome and this is very interesting, right. Many viruses, if you, if you see carefully, many of these viruses are basically uh, uh, endocytos through this uh, phagosome, okay. So, over there they get and uh, they, uh, the protein or coat protein are dislodged and then the nucleic acid come in picture, okay. So, this nucleic acid can be sensed and this is very appropriately located, okay. The sensors are very appropriately located and they sense and then this will induce the immune response. Another family of uh, uh, molecule is uh, RLRs. Here you can see that members of RLR are located in cytoplasm and some, 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 um, some of this virus infection, they, uh, they are basically come in the cytoplasm, okay. The nucleic acid comes in the cytoplasm and over there this can be sensed and then that, that there will be a appropriate immune response. Another is a uh, nod like receptor. So, basically nod like receptors, there are two major categories of nod like receptor. One is a nod 1 and nod 2, which uh, one category is made of nod 1 and nod 2. They basically senses the bacterial signature molecule such as uh, some component of peptidoglycan. And there is another uh, group of sensor which basically uh, oligomerize and uh, uh, and, and then they, they make a, some multi-protein complex and then they will induce a, a IL-1 family cytokine. So, this we will study in great detail when we will take up the nod-like receptor. Here, uh, I, although I have given in a schematic, there is a production of IL-1 beta which is synthesized in inactive form and, uh, and this inactive form is uh, basically converted into the active form by this multi-protein complex known as inflammasome. We will discuss in great detail in NLRs, okay. Now, let us come back to the toll-like receptor. So, toll-like receptors, uh, uh, they have a three distinct uh, region, uh, if you see very carefully. The first region, which we call it as a 
ल्यूसिन रिच रिपीट ओके दिस ल्यूसिन रिच रिपीट इज प्लेइंग इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन सेंसिंग द पैम्प ओके एंड बेसिकली दिस टी एल आर आर कंसिस्ट ऑफ एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉपीज ऑफ ल्यूसिन रिच रिपीट एंड इच ल्यूसिन रिच रिपीट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव अमाइनो एसेट्स ओके एंड दे मेक अ वन यूनिक स्ट्रक्चर विच वी कॉल इट इज अट शू लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड देन दे सेंस द पैम्प in in some cases in some tlr this uh, this lucin rich repeat is undergo cleavage uh, in order to sense the uh, sense the pamp okay and generally these uh, these tlrs are uh, uh, basically express in the endosome so all uh, uh, most of this nucleic acid sensors they undergo uh, cleavage and over there there will be a, a generation of uh, 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 active sensor which will sense the nucleic acid and then it will transduce the signal okay and this this cleavage is basically mediated by uh, uh, various uh, proteases like cathepsins okay cathepsin family protein okay the another reason is the transmembrane uh, region uh, uh, which we also call it as a type 1 transmembrane uh, region okay and this is uh, basically uh consist of uh, mainly uh, you can understand this is consist of a hydrophobic amino acid okay and this plays a uh, important role in 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 inserting in the membrane okay and the another most important region is uh, uh, this um, the tir region okay here you can see that toll il1 receptor region and this toll il uh, one receptor region is the cytoplasmic region and this plays the most important role in signaling so if we if you if you eliminate this uh, domain then there will be no signaling and this uh, this name the tir name came from uh, il1 family receptor here you can see so there are uh, various il1 receptor subfamilies and you can see that all this uh, these uh, these receptors they have a uh, uh tir domain okay the, this is basically il1 receptor domain okay uh, which is uh, which is playing a uh, uh, very important role in downstream signaling upon uh, upon uh, binding with the uh, respective ligand that is il1 or il18 okay so uh, this tir domain is uh, playing very important role in downstream signaling and this tir domain is also present in some of uh, adapter molecule of uh, tlr uh, as you can see there is a myd88 okay this myd88 is also having this tir domain and uh, there is another uh, adapter molecule known as mal or trap so so this this these proteins or these adapter proteins has a this tir domain okay now i will uh, talk you, uh, about the pamps recognized by tlr okay so there are uh, uh, there are if you see the tlrs uh, then you can find out that uh, these tlrs can sense various biomolecule derived from the microbial pathogen okay they can sense lipid or lipid derivatives they can sense protein they can sense nucleic acid so these are the major biomolecule okay in in living system okay here you can see that uh, the heterodimer of uh, tlr 1 2 and tlr 2 6 uh, basically they sense uh, uh, triacyl lipopeptide and diacyl lipopeptide respectively and tlr 4 which sense uh, 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 can sense the lps okay and this lps is uh, uh is the sensing of lps is not so simple and you 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 can understand uh, in previous session i have uh, talked about the work of bruce butler so so the tlr field basically uh, discovered through the discovery of tlr4 and sensing of lps is little complicated for sensing of lps you need various molecule uh, as you can see in subsequent slide you need a CD14, you need MD2, and there is a one more protein known as 
LBP, LPS binding protein. So, all these things are needed in order to induce the LPS uh, or TLR4 mediated signaling. Okay. TLR can sense the protein. If you see carefully that uh, TL, TLR5 senses flagellin and this flagellin is derived from uh, flagellated bacteria. In addition, they can sense uropathogenic uh, bacteria and TLR3, 7, 8 and 9, they can sense uh, uh, nucleic acid like TLR3 basically senses uh, double stranded RNA molecule. TLR7 and 8 senses single stranded RNA molecule and TLR9 senses CPG motif uh, uh, DNA which is hypomethylated. Okay? So, here I just want to give a, one important message that, uh, that this pattern recognition receptor are germline encoded receptor which is not the case in case of, uh, uh, in case of adaptive immunity. Okay? Over there, the, the 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 receptors like B cell receptors and T cell receptors they are generated after uh, 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 genetic rearrangement. Okay, there is a recombination is taking place. Okay, where, where the gene segments are joining and then they are they are making a receptor. Okay, here in case of innate immune receptor they are germ line encoded receptors and if you if you see very carefully then you can see that all those molecules which are come in category of pams they are very important for the for the uh, for these microbial pathogen okay like peptidoglycan lps nucleic acid but they uh, these sensors basically sense the distinguishing feature okay like hypomethylated nucleic acid, okay, single stranded RNA, phosphorylated RNA, so and so forth, okay. And uh, like a human cell, they do not have a peptidoglycan, so they sense the peptidoglycan. So, here I just gave you the overview about uh, the various PAMP and uh, in, in next slide, I will show you the great detail of uh, these, uh, these, uh, these PAMPs, uh, what are the PAMPs and where these ex these uh, sensors express here you can see that uh, TLR2 in association with 1 and uh, TLR2 in association with 6 uh, they sense lipoarabinomannan uh, lipoproteins lipotechoic acid uh, cell wall from uh, uh, fungi which is consist of uh, beta glucan and zymosin which is derived from fungi and they are expressing in variety of cells like monocyte, DCs, uh, mast cells, eosinophil, basophil. So, if you see this table very carefully, then you will notice that most of TLRs are expressed in macrophages and dendritic cells, okay. Uh, except few, if you see TLR7, they, it is express, it is not expressing in uh, uh, in DCs, rather it is expressing in PDCs, okay, which basically produce ton amount of uh, uh, type 1 interferon upon viral infection, okay. So, so you can, you can go through this table and uh, uh, you, you try to understand and try to remember that uh, these uh, TLR are uh, playing a very important role in various compartment of the cell, okay. And here you can see that TLR10 is only expressing in human, whereas TLR11, 12 and 13 only expressing in mouse. Okay? So, with this I will stop here and in next session I will talk about the TLR signaling. Thank you.